Ladies and gentlemen, today's program continues to bring you the hot state news that is of great interest to the public. First, let's take a look at the main news in today's program. Shocking news spread across Asia yesterday when President Xi Jinping declared a nationwide alert as a large Chinese aircraft carrier caught fire fiercely in the South China Sea, causing Beijing great distress and sleepless nights. Ladies and gentlemen, according to China's well-known newspaper, China Morning Post, China received what is believed to be a lightning strike as a new generation amphibious assault ship or so-called aircraft carrier from China erupted in flames outside the South China Sea. The Chinese newspaper also posted a video showing columns of smoke billowing up in a vast sea area where the aircraft carrier was engulfed in flames. Currently, China is in a state of shock, urgently convening a meeting to determine the cause of the aforementioned fire. However, according to a leaked source, the reason for the fire is that the Chinese ship was hit by two ballistic missiles launched by the United States Pacific Fleet late yesterday. The government of Xi Jinping is currently conducting an investigation into the cause. Ladies and gentlemen, on the same day, several renowned newspapers worldwide, such as the Hong Kong Post, Southern Daily, Jakarta Post of Indonesia, and Tokyo Post of Japan, simultaneously reported on an incident where China's amphibious assault ship, or the new generation aircraft carrier from Beijing, suddenly erupted in a fierce fire, catching the Chinese government off guard. The cause is currently under investigation by Chinese authorities. However, observers believe that whether the Chinese aircraft carrier was set ablaze by missiles from the United States, Japan, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, or Russia, it is the price that the Chinese government has to pay for its arrogant actions. In recent times, President Xi Jinping's government has committed numerous offenses against countries in the region and around the world. According to observers, a series of offenses by China has caused immense suffering to humanity, with the most notable being the release of the virus named Wuhan, spreading to over 200 countries and territories worldwide, disrupting the lives of countless people on this planet. Moreover, China has disrupted the global supply chain, causing many industries and sectors to struggle, especially due to the Wuhan virus. The consequences of these heinous actions will inevitably come back to haunt China. Look at the current situation in the United States, India, and Indonesia. Not only that, the Chinese government has also taken advantage of countries facing the pandemic by raising the prices of masks, ventilators, medical equipment, and COVID-19 test kits to exorbitant levels, aiming to generate a huge amount of money for the Chinese government. Many opinions suggest that China will have to pay a hefty price for its inhumane actions. Therefore, if one, five, or ten more Chinese aircraft carriers catch fire, it is a consequence brought upon China by itself. Many readers believe that China will continue to face severe consequences, karmic retribution, and encounter numerous difficulties because Beijing dared to allow a Coast Guard ship to sink a Vietnamese fishing boat in Vietnam's Hong Sa archipelago. The behavior in question is not only condemned by countries and communities worldwide, but China is also facing unforeseen consequences from the karmic retribution pouring onto the government of President Xi Jinping. Ladies and gentlemen, According to Southern Daily, quoting a general from China's Ministry of Defense, the United States is considered the cause of the aircraft carrier fire yesterday. China is deeply angered, suspicious, and blaming the United States. This is because in recent times, there have been tense clashes and fiery confrontations between the U.S. Navy and the Chinese Navy. The latest incident involved the U.S. destroying a Chinese reconnaissance ship in the South China Sea, as the ship dared to follow and chase a U.S destroyer while the U.S. Navy was conducting patrols in the South China Sea. However, other officials suggest that China is also suspicious in questioning India and Spain because these two countries have recently taken actions such as cooperating with the U.S. to send destroyers and aircraft carriers into the South China Sea, challenging China's sovereignty. As quoted by China Morning Post, citing Chinese Ministry of Defense spokesperson Ngai Fuanhou at a meeting in Beijing yesterday. Ho stated that the current situation in the South China Sea is very complex, with the navies of countries like the US, UK, India, France, Germany, Italy, and Spain constantly engaging in tense clashes with the Chinese Navy. These countries repeatedly deploy aircraft carriers, destroyers, frigates, and large warships with guided missiles approaching the waters around China's artificial islands, causing a lot of concerns for the Beijing government and posing a threat to the safety and security of China's maritime routes in the South China Sea. Therefore, President Xi Jinping's government needs to take strong measures to retaliate against such intrusive actions by the U.S.
and Western countries, possibly seizing all ships or even sinking them. After hearing Ng Gai Fuanghou's statement, analysts believe that China is appearing aggressive and arrogant, continuing its suppressive actions in the South China Sea, disregarding international law and criticism from other nations. The Tokyo newspaper of Japan reported that the Japanese Navy recently detected a Chinese aircraft carrier named Liaoning maneuvering around the Senkaku Islands, where a confrontation between the Japanese and Chinese navies occurred three days ago. The Japanese Ministry of Defense announced yesterday that the Chinese aircraft carrier Liaoning entered the East China Sea on the previous afternoon and was approaching the territorial waters of Japan. This is the first time a Chinese aircraft carrier has appeared in Japan's waters since June 2020. Japan is issuing a high-level warning because it will lead to a loss of security and safety for Japan's maritime routes and territory. The Tokyo newspaper said that Japan's Ministry of Defense and Ministry of Foreign Affairs stated that if the Liaoning aircraft carrier and five other missile-carrying destroyers from China approach the Okinawa and Miyako Islands, Japan's Ministry of Defense has issued a warning to China as these actions threaten Japan's economic exclusive zone. On the same day, Japan's Coast Guard also confirmed that the Chinese fleet was maneuvering off the coast of the East China Sea, bordering Japan's territorial waters. However, it has not yet violated the economic exclusive zone, and if there are provocative, bullying, or expansionist actions in this maritime area in the future, Japan's Ministry of Defense will launch missiles to deter Beijing. Although only recently discovering the presence of the Liaoning aircraft carrier and five missile-carrying destroyers from China maneuvering in the East China Sea, the Japanese Ministry of Defense has ordered relevant forces to enhance surveillance and maintain a high level of vigilance. Simultaneously, they are swiftly analyzing the intentions of the Chinese fleet. The ministry preliminarily assesses that the Chinese Navy may be training to enhance its capabilities in exploiting distant sea areas, or China may be harboring ill intentions by daring to threaten anti-air and anti-ship missile units that Japan recently deployed to the Miyako Islands since June 26. After tense clashes between the navies of Japan and China, Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Shigo ordered the continuous combat readiness of the country's army, air force, and navy at the Senkaku Islands as well as in the East China Sea. If any improper actions by China are detected, Japan is ready to launch missiles to deter and isolate Beijing and restore peace to the East China Sea and the Senkaku Islands, as it was before. Ladies and gentlemen, there is news that is considered very recent and of great interest to those concerned about the South China Sea and countries in Southeast Asia. It involves a Chinese Coast Guard ship with the label China 3302 illegally encroaching into the waters of the Philippines. The Manila newspaper of the Philippines reported that a Chinese Coast Guard ship appeared in its waters yesterday. Philippine officials are issuing urgent warnings and closely monitoring the actions and movements of the Chinese Coast Guard ship to consider plans for interception or possible sinking. Many military experts worldwide warned that it is unbelievable that just 10 days ago, a Chinese Coast Guard ship sank a Vietnamese fishing boat, and today, it is intruding into the waters of the Philippines to provoke and threaten. Military experts caution that countries in Southeast Asia and around the world must remain extremely vigilant and guard against China in this period. In a recent statement in Beijing, officials and President Xi Jinping's government boldly declared that the city of Wuhan, Hubei province, has successfully controlled the COVID-19 outbreak that resurfaced last month. And now is the perfect opportunity for China to deploy its military to assert sovereignty over the maritime territories in the South China Sea and some border regions adjacent to 14 neighboring countries around China. Therefore, countries must maintain a high level of vigilance and be ready to fight if they discover any improper actions by China as described above. According to experts, the situation in the South China Sea and the border regions adjacent to China in the coming time will remain highly volatile. The other detailed highlights of the day from 22 hours channel. We sincerely thank you and all of the viewers who have followed us until the end of this video. Please leave your comment in the video's comment section so that our team can respond in a timeline manner. Goodbye and see you again.